Has the dire wolf been brought back from extinction? This claim is questionable and others have covered it really well, so I'm not going to do so here. This is probably an example of the media getting really excited about a science story that hasn't yet been vetted. And I get it. It's a really cool story. But in my mind, the coverage largely misses the bigger picture. In conservation biology, wolves are what's known as charismatic megafauna. They're large, likable animals that get people's attention. But of the approximately 10 million species on Earth, only about 80,000 of them are vertebrates. The vast majority of them are arthropods. An extinction is the complete loss of a species. And throughout Earth's history, there have been approximately five what are known as mass extinctions. Most are probably familiar with the last one, which is the end Cretaceous, when the non-avian dinosaurs went extinct. But the biggest mass extinction event was the end Permian, which is also known as the Great Dying, as approximately 90% of species went extinct. Why is this relevant? Well, we're actually in a mass extinction event, also known as the sixth mass extinction. But unlike previous extinction events, this one is almost entirely due to human activity. According to a UN report, approximately a million species are at risk of extinction this century. What are humans doing that's resulting in biodiversity loss? The biggest cause may surprise you. The acronym HIPOC helps us understand the causes, and it's in order of severity. So the biggest cause is actually habitat loss. Of Earth's habitable land, approximately half of it is used to grow food for humans. Invasive species are non-native species that are moved into a new area. For example, one of my favorite species has actually caused 63 vertebrate extinctions, and that would be the cat. Next is pollution. This would be air pollution, water pollution. Overharvesting examples would be things like overfishing. Last, at least for now, is climate change. Most of the previous mass extinctions were caused at least in part by climate change events. And as climate changes more, we expect more extinctions. If we're going to de-extinct species, we also need to understand what caused them to go extinct in the first place. But I would argue we should be focusing our conservation efforts instead on preserving what we currently have. Why does this matter? Humans depend on biodiversity. Species and ecosystems each do their part to create an overall ecosystem that functions. When that ecosystem loses species, it loses its ability to function. And collapsing ecosystems are not good for any species that relies on those ecosystems, humans included. So in all this news coverage about the dire wolf, try to remember there's a lot of biodiversity with us currently that are facing threats because of things humans are doing. Maybe we should do our best to help them. And helping them helps us.